thanks a lot that uh, I'm allowed to talk about my project. We heard a lots, of, lots of extensions which were developed in the last months or years or whatever. Uh, I have not, uh, not uh, information about new extensions because I'm not a developer. I will just talk about my use case, how I use such these great extensions. Uh, I work for the library in, uh, of uh, Würzburg and we have got a project uh, for scanning old books and uh, do the OCR on these scans. And later we want to use um, a semantic media wiki for the proofreading and the correction of the OCR output. And uh, we already set up some of this stuff. This is an example one for one of these books. These are the early, one of the early printed books uh, we have in our libraries. And you see that's a special task for OCR also. But in this case, we are managed quite a lot uh, and got really good results. For example, on this, we got a OCR recognition rate from over uh, 95%. But there's still 5% left we have to correct. And we also want that uh, uh, special letters uh, are later uh, not uh, converted in, in normal letters like we know it from our alphabet. So we use uh, SMW uh, as a corroborative tool uh, for collecting the metadata of our scans and the OCR and uh, we use it as a also container um, uh, that we use and later we merge this data with, with databases from our library. So the typical library metadata from the SMW will be merged in, in, in a huge database. And we also use it as a version control for, for the group of the persons who work uh, with this text. Uh, unfortunately, we don't use it for the display the data. Uh, that's our workflow, more or less. We do the scans with lots of images. And the OCR generates a special output. It's a page XML. And I wrote a little script then that I can import this data via the data import extension into the SMW. The same we do with the, with the files. We scan this uh, high resolution TIFF files. Each file has, uh, depends on the scan, but approximately 100 uh, megabyte. And so I also convert it automatically in uh, uh, other re resolution and uh, decrease the image size and also bump it into the SMW. Uh, that's what, what it looked like. Not so fancy, <laughs> but it works. On the left hand, uh, we have got the scan and the right hand, uh, we have got the OCR text. And we, you can see we, uh, there are different sections on the book, on the scan. And we also represented these different sections in different uh, sub-pages of the scan. And uh, the page itself, it's a, a machine-readable uh, page name, but it's not human-readable, but it's librarian-readable, because it's just a signature. signature. And here, for example, the scan is uh, from a, a Belgian library, start with BE, and then the signature uh, of the file, so you can fin find it, and it's a worldwide unique uh, number. Uh, I also did some uh, JavaScript to improve the wiki editor uh, because there are lots of uh, letters you don't normally use, and it's very hard to find them on the keyboard. And uh, so I added them here. It's a special font, it's a medieval Unicode font, it's called Movie Font, and you've got these symbols here like special cues and uh, for example this German S would go down and just like thing and it's easier for the editors then to add these uh, special characters. So after um, the work is done in the SMW, uh, we have to, it's not, uh, right now it's uh, not clear how we do it but I guess we will do it via the API. We have to dump the data in, in our library database and then we generate uh, automatically from this database uh, the, the website, which is part of the university website where we can see then the pictures and the metadata and all the stuff. 
And of course, you can also then download this data in different formats. So uh, life is not <coughs> no, life is no picnic. Uh, there's also a German saying for that. And as me as a user, I always have some some wishes maybe. Um, especially, uh, I, I talked about in the last two days with some guys here. We are really looking for a better uh, inline annotation because uh, the normal in annotation, which is most of the people here, I think, they use semantic forms for, for adding the metadata. But we in the library, especially if you work with the text, you do inline annotations. And uh, it's very limited the possibilities you have there. And uh, also, maybe some support for, for TEI annotation. Something like that would be great in the future, but we will see. Uh, I also updated my slides a little bit. Uh, a better full text search will come in SMW 2.5. So this is done. Thank you so much for the developers. And in our environment, um, we've got a solar store behind. And there was a decision from Media Wiki Foundation uh, to support more uh, to Lucene search. So the extensions for solar are de deprecated and maybe I will find time to improve this or maybe somebody here around has some ideas uh, how to update the solar extension and the connector and bring it uh, to a stable version. And also what we have problems always is uh, with the uh, loading time. Um, maybe it's because I'm not a good template writer <laughs> But maybe it's a general problem, I don't know. Uh, but even if you, if you cascade some templates, then the loading time is, is going down. And uh, we have not the best server I know, but I think in the future maybe it could be better. So if you want to have more information, just check the website or you're free to contact me. Thanks. Thank you.